Assalamu alaikum guys It's uh, Chef Shakur Naam to suna hoga <laughs> Welcome to another episode of uh, Shake's Place With your boy Chef Shakur How is everybody doing? Are you okay? Today's recipe is inspired by all my um, bros and cousins out there who go to uh, Morocco And um, uh, it's, it's funny, every time I go to um, see one of my boys who's going to Morocco They always say to me um, oh, at the same time, I say, oh, uh, I bet you really enjoyed the, the cuisines over there. And they say, oh yeah, Makinis was sick. <laughs> I'm saying, why didn't you go Makinis? You, you, you go to the country and you don't experience the food. It's like, what's the point? And they're, they're always like, oh, it's halal bro, isn't it? It's halal bro. Uh, so today's episode is um, inspired by those people who go to Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> they don't eat Moroccan food. So what I've got lined up for you today is I'm making uh, harissa chicken. Uh, with, it's a little spicy called harissa which I'm going to be using. Uh, which is very tasty. You really like it. Uh, and on top of that I've got a Mediterranean salad which I'm going to be showing you how to make. Uh, and on top of that, <laughs> I just uh, I treat you guys even further. Uh, I'm going to be making a, a pomegranate reduction. Um, uh, which uh, is going to go on top of our chicken later on. So uh, that's, uh, that's today's menu. So let's go. I've got 500 ml of uh, pomegranate juice here. Now with it, I'm just going to add uh, three tablespoons worth of lemon juice and roughly half a cup of sugar. So once we're giving it a good stir, we've got it on a high heat and then all we're going to do is we're going to wait until it's uh, on the high and then we're going to uh, simmer it on a low heat for uh, about, uh, it could be half an hour, uh, depending on how thick you want your sauce. So as you can see uh, everybody, it's uh, nice and bubbly. So if we turn it down to a low heat. like so and then just let it simmer you don't have to do anything uh, once you put it on a low heat go to the living room make yourself a cup of tea relax <laughs> do all the work by yourself, by yourself. Uh, so just um, yeah let it simmer um, I'll show you what it's like after half an hour if you're happy with that then by all means you can take it off the uh, stove after half an hour, so we've got half an hour done, it should look like this. Um, here's a tip for you guys, if you're going to put the sauce in, in the fridge and uh, leave it for a couple of hours, it'll go thicker. But you'll get a really, really beautiful sauce with it. Um, I'll just pour some sauce into a glass. And you see it's lovely and thick. So I'm going to be drizzling that on top of the uh, chicken. And I thought, oh, <laughs> it's mouth already just thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be pouring that on top of the uh, chicken that I'm cooking there. And also on top of the salad. Um, and I'm not joking, it's really, really going to taste it's so delicious. So oh, that's part one of the drone of you guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Mediterranean salad for you. Uh, very easy, very tasty. Uh, <laughs> I remember the first time I made this for my mum. Uh, she loved it so much. She loves the uh, pomegranate reduction. Uh, but when I made it with the salad and the chicken uh, for the first time, oh, she actually shouted at me. She goes, "Put So there's a carbon I here. Put up on here." For those of you. <laughs> so she goes, oh, you didn't make enough. I was like, I mean, I do that as you can name my brother. So uh, uh, every time I do make this, I always make sure that I make some extra for them. <laughs> so let's get, um, let's uh, do the salad for you guys. So what I've done already is um, I've got some salad over here. So in here I've got uh, a mix of uh, stuff like carrots. Uh, yellow and red peppers, uh, we've got some lettuce and some cherry tomatoes. Um, if, uh, if you can't be asked by getting it all individually, they come in packs. So you can just 
to get one of them from the supermarket. Uh, and then what I'm going to do to uh, attach it up, I'm just going to use my hand. I'm just going to crumble in. If you're not a hand person, you can always do it with an apple fork. And that's not just it. Now we're going to do a little bit of cooking. I'm just going to turn my pan on. Right, so once it's nice and hot, I'll just actually wrap my olive oil. Make sure you cut it all over. Now I've got some uh, cut mangoes and cut pineapple. So I'm just going to add a little bit. It's just going to release some flavour. The idea here is to give the fruit a layer of crispiness. So you can see this uh, char coming through like a, like a, a real fun. That's all you want. And when you think they're ready, You should at the end have something that looks like that. So, because you know you think it's so far here, but we got a beautiful salad, we're making a beautiful sauce. And uh, we still haven't made our chicken yet, so you still for that treat as well. Uh, so, uh, again, this is called harissa chicken. You get a spice called harissa. There's two types of spices that you can get. One is like a ready-made sauce, and two is uh, dry spice. Um, I've got the dry spice, uh, so I'm just going to coat it over with uh, the chicken. You guys are going to see. Hopefully you won't be thinking about making these uh, Morocco McDonald's adventures again. <laughs> You'd want to go out there and actually try their food. Right, let's uh, let's do this thing. So guys, because of the weather, um, I'm gonna have to do the chicken inside. You can always trust that British weather there, guy, <laughs> especially in the summertime. So what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you how to cook the chicken. Uh, we're gonna be marinating it. Very important. Um, just leave it in the fridge either overnight or leave it at least for an hour um, before cooking. You get that. Yeah, perfect flavor. Um, all you cousins at the end, I hope you think uh, you know next time you go to Morocco that you're not gonna get maki beans. <laughs> Why would you go to another country and get McDonald's? I, I have no. I mean, I can understand Saudi Arabia and Dubai and that, but <laughs> go on, man. Stick with the culture. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, get on with the chicken. So I'm um, gonna show you how to get that sorted. Uh, hopefully you cousins will uh, think twice before uh, getting a Mackey's or a Burger King out there. You can probably hear that noise in the background. That's just the um, grill that's on. So I've got my uh, pieces of chicken over here. And just before uh, marinating, the best just to give it uh, a couple of uh, cuts on both sides just to make sure that your chicken cooks on, cooks on the inside because you, do you, you ever hear when, you, when you're cooking chicken and then near the bone you've got that um, extra redness coming out but we don't want that, we don't want that extra redness because that's blood so we're just cutting it right guys so we've got our how is it? Hey, there you go. Have a, have a nice, good smell of that. Go cool. on, whoever invented smell of vision, go cool. on. I'm investing. So, just a couple of um, tablespoons of harissa going inside. You don't need to be accurate, it depends on your preference. Some people um, prefer it really coated, without a word, yeah, coated. 
and some people prefer it just lightly. Uh, it still get mixed anyway. And then set the fridge. So we've got that, then we've got our black pepper, a pinch of salt. Now remember to clean your hands folks. <laughs> no, I'm sure you do anyway. Just give that a good, good uh, mix with your hands. You don't need to add any oil. If you do, it kind of it, it kind of gets rid of that flavour. So you just want to make sure that it's just got a nice dry rub onto it. So it should look something like that. If you need um, to put any more in, by all means do. Uh, so I'm just going to set that in the fridge for an hour, um, and then uh, we're going to be cooking in the grill. So it's been set in our fridge for an hour. So I'm just going to put the uh, chicken onto there. Now depending on preference, these need to go into the grill for between 6 and 8 minutes. Uh, so let's just, so let's just pop these into our grill. So in they go into the grill on a high heat. Um, and again, if you wanted to just leave it uh, for about uh, six, seven minutes should be okay. Uh, one it a bit more darker, about eight minutes. Uh, and then we should be ready to flip. Um, and then once they're done, then um, well, I'll show, <laughs> I'll show you the results. <laughs> Right, so it's been in for about seven minutes. Looking nice and juicy. So now we're just going to flip her around. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of minutes we should be done. So there we have it guys. My uh, perfect Arisa Fuzis no Iyamaki D's chicken. <laughs> Very catchy isn't it? Let me show you it all um, when it's all plated up. So um, bear with me. So again, I thought I'd just show you that chicken. And our Mediterranean salad. There you go, guys. So my question this week for you guys is, uh, out of everywhere that you've been around the world, who do you think has the best uh, food? Uh, you can sit back side if you want, nothing wrong with that. Do um, you love Turkish cooking, uh, Moroccan, uh, American if you ever been to America, Australia, China, Japan? Let me know in the comments below. Right ladies and gentlemen, if you liked my video today, then please give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, you still give it a thumbs up. You're a support brother, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe, that's the main thing. Please share with all your friends and family. Um, and, uh, get them to subscribe as well. Um, and again, I, I hope uh, everyone has a beautiful day. 